That's why I said no more than three times. No more than three times. After three times, boy. In an agreement. G Easy said third time he gonna wife her. If I three times I'm a wife her. Mm, I don't know. Okay, all right. Keep casual sex casual. Oh Lord. Nothing more. Oh, it sounds like some hey, go on, Beehive. No, she's a normal person. Get her, Beehive. Beehive is going to kill you. So, everybody has <laughs> issues. Just a B sound. Everybody They're going to run up to your house and throw a brick through your goddamn window. Yo, beehive is coming. Everybody in it? life has <laughs> issues. Like she closes, because they close, they kicked everybody out the store for her to go shop. Okay, but you want to fight a pregnant woman? Yeah, like who did that? Where was is real. Get up, get up, get up. It's about to go down. News flash. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Yeah. Slacking on your pimping. Uh. Turn it up. You know, if you're gonna shoot, you better shoot straight because a wounded animal is the worst thing you can deal with. Fact. Welcome to the Baller Alert Show. Featuring your lifestyle specialist, Kenny Burns. With Sue Solo and Ferrari Simmons. The, the, the dream is, is real. real. It's your lifestyle specialist, Kenny Burns, and this is the Baller Alert Show. It's the key of Ferrari Simmons. Your favorite Ethiopian, Sue Solo. Hello! Can we do it again? Why don't you do it, Rory? No, can we do it again? Five, four, three, two, one. That's what it is. You're so busy on your live. No. Mm-hmm. Right, what happened? No, you usually do the first one. <laughs> he like beefing. A... He beefing with the Hobbit Show community. What happened? Go to his page and comment. <laughs> the he whole just shot it out Henny on his Instagram. He That's loves the Hobbit Show. Yeah. So you, so, so you like on. one Rory don't never So you po- like look, one Rory don't never post promoters He must pay in advance <laughs> You know what He always pays on time That's And good. early <laughs> That's good That's good That's good So uh, Rory How was your weekend champion? My weekend was good What did I do this weekend? You got a fresh haircut it Worked got that, That's not Rory, a perm Rory cur- the Hashtag Rory curls are back <laughs> That is that not a perm that. He does not use This is real This is my real Rory. hair They be this talking about just add water. I want to get the little Rory perm, nah, bro. Just add, just add water hair. <laughs> and if you put some, like some, some moisture, in, I mean, what's it called? Put some, some little, grease. Put some grease on. That thing will be in that thing. That thing, like, like, that thing will look like that. So, <laughs> hey, so, 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 so. You know how to do that? Cause I don't. Do I? I don't know how to do you that. Ain't that one time. You ain't seen me at the club that one time. You when you had the blue braids. Nah, I ain't seen you. Baby, you I, seen me at the club you when you had the blue braids. Yes, you did. You did. We was at Rebel. She did it on the stage look. at Rebel. We was at Rebel. Let, let me see. You did it on the stage. I'm not getting up right now. I ain't no puppet. What I look like? I don't remember. Let me show see. You my mentor. You showed me everything else. You can't show me that. I showed you on the thing. I just was on beat right there. Dot com. How was your weekend, baby? Fabulous. Kid Brunch was amazing. Kid Brunch be popping. It be popping. Actually, uh, Lance Stevenson from The Patient Stop Through. We played his single. He was um, in the club on Friday. Uh, yep, I saw Saturday night. He was in the he, club he was everywhere. Was, this he was, yeah, he was out all weekend. So he made a, him a special made a stop at Get Brunch. Um, OG special. That's the most interesting man in hip hop. I'm still trying to I grasp you. Um, I'm trying to yeah, grasp. He's you. hilarious. I'm like, uh, but I appreciate anytime he comes to Get Brunch because he comes through. with they really love it. I saw Biddy stop by a couple people. Yeah, yeah. I had, yeah, yeah. I had a few surprises this past weekend. Actually, this, this heat must really be fucking with niggas' heads. Hey, listen, it's ninety-one <laughs> degrees today in the A. Um, I had a great weekend too, man. I, um, uh, how, how did I start my week off? I did something on Thursday. <laughs> so much. I have time no to Thursday. Um, Atlanta Live. In the oh, park. it was Rugs Week. Oh yeah, hold on. So let's go to Atlanta Live on yeah, the park. On the park. Yeah, you ladies did. and gentlemen, I just want to say one of my favorite events to host. I've, I hosted the event the first five years. Wow. It's the fifth year in existence. But when I tell you that they party, man, I'm talking about to get to come sit, eat, whatever, and I get a stage. So I need to try my jokes. You yeah, put the video. I need on that jacket. I need the jacket. Oh, you saw the jacket, nephew. I'm gonna make Kyle. You one. I need the jacket. I'm gonna make you one. Okay. But I love Atlanta Live. And then Thursday, I did something Thursday. What I do Thursday? There's something though. Don't yeah, nobody remember. That was alive, alive on the park. Though. That was Tuesday. Oh, that was Tuesday. That was Had Tuesday. a great time. It's always on Tuesday. Right? <clears throat> yeah. Anyway, uh, Friday night, the all white party. Big shout out to Mr. Oh. Rugs. Mm. I don't be knowing where these people come from, man. And I know it's from up north. In New York, yeah. But it'd be everybody from everywhere else. I, I'm in the club. I'm, I'm just like, and I, of course I know everybody, but I, it looks like a whole different unit. Big shout out to all the DJs that came down from New York. It was. Packed out of this world. But the, the thing I'm the most part. shocked by is how much they be selling the tables for. Yeah, the table and, and the, cash, no cards. I'm talking cards. about, yo, it, give it up for rugs, man. I, I just want to say that that is a feat onto itself um, and a skill unlike no other. Because, um, you know, table service is dying. 
Well, I promise you on it's Friday crazy. night it was alive and really? well. Yeah, then I hosted SL Sunday. Um, had a chef Saturday, had, Saturday. Had, oh, Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. How was that? What Saturday was good. Yeah, it was, it was good. good. My first time hosting the uh, SL was a good time. But uh, Chef Mike Valley, mm -hmm. Chef, how you doing? You almost burned my motherfucking kitchen down. <laughs> I had to. Uh, t food was amazing, by the way. But I had to tell uh, the party people because we had them last week for Rios' yeah, birthday. Yeah, yeah. Give up for Rios. Rios is back. Rios, Rios, Rios is back. <laughs> A, a week we tonight. had a chef come for Rio's <laughs> birthday, but he decided to stay in LA <laughs> to shoot two more shoot. weeks on rooftops and shit. Shoot <laughs> to still shoot. Yeah, he did that. And uh, but anyway, so I, I had him over to the house, y'all. I had him over to the house uh, for Mother's Day, mm. uh, which we're gonna get into as well. So sweet. Um, they got some noise going on outside the studio, but we're gonna keep doing what we do because you know, because okay. we bring uh, the noise drama. To call him. Um, but yeah, no. So anyway, had had him over, and it was great. It was great, but he almost burnt down my kitchen. No. And I was watching TV like I do. You know what I'm saying? When, when the wife cooks on Sunday, when we had a show this week, you know, it was a special for mommy's day. And uh, basically, I saw this flame. And it wasn't in the middle of the stove. It was like on the right of the stove. Cause we got like the six <laughs> burners. We got the six burner stove, the big junk, right? Mm -hmm. So he not in the middle. So where the flame could have just looked like it went straight into the vent. I'm talking about it went by the cabinet. And when I tell you Jessica Burr said, ah, some shit. I said, oh, what happened, baby? So there was flame. I was like, oh, it's fine. It's part of the routine. She's like, no, it's not. <laughs> I was on the floor. But big shout out to Mike. Came through, cooked us up. We're going to have leftovers for a week. And now it's time for In Case You Missed It. Just in case you missed it. Yeah, just in case I don't make it home tonight, um, I got to get a, a Mother's Day card. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. What the hell is going on? No, I, I did. I, Ow. Ow, I, would. I, I messed up. You messed I messed up. up. I went, see, I had a whole plan, right? Everybody know I spoil my wife. I'm a great husband. You know what I'm talking about? I had the chef come through, made sure my son's design cars. You know, it's the little things. She loved the little things. Right. But I'm running around so much, I forgot the Mother's Day card. But everybody is just... No, everybody out of town. Well, I mean, you know, aunties, everybody got this because, you know, God bless my wife. She on top of it. They got the flowers, everything. And they just got everything but the card. Damn. What had happened was <laughs> I was trying to get this purse she wanted. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Now, I'd already bought the gifts. I got a problem. I can't just hold on. You know what I'm saying? If I got it in my hand, I got to give it up. So it'd be, you know, very hard on myself come the day, actual day. <laughs> yeah. So actual Mother's Day, I want to have something in my hand. So I had this whole plan that didn't work out. And showing sure up because that didn't work out, forgot to go to Papyrus. They got the best cards on they, the planet. They, they do. Because I'd get the fancy ones, you know, with mm -hmm. the silk and the rhinestones and all that specialty mm -hmm. stuff. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. So yeah, that didn't work. And uh, I'm, I ain't shit. So I'm going, um, I got to go find some Mother's Day cards today. Hopefully they don't sell. Um, but happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there uh, in the world, Ball Nation. We uh, salute you. We appreciate you. Yes. Uh, we not only, you know, support and appreciate Mother's Day, but we love and pre appreciate and support you every day. So I don't want you to y'all twist that. Um, we really appreciate y'all. And uh, speaking of Mother's Day, y'all, Cardi B deleted her Instagram. Good. Cardi B did delete Good. her Instagram. Oh, I, no, Why? She didn't delete Good. it. She suspended it. Okay, delete, suspend. suspend. She ain't active. She come Why? Back. Why? Until Cardi can get to a place where she doesn't have to respond to so much negativity, she needs to stay off that. The girl she is she's pregnant. Respond at all. Just don't respond. No. Again, until she gets to a point where she stops responding, she should stay off Instagram. So, 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 what, what, what incidents happened to make her get off? Of, so Did you see? Uh, she was at Azalea some. Baller, Banks, we have it on Baller Alert. She was at some. Um, I saw her at the that, store. That, that was probably the final thing, right? Like, I saw the store really talking about come outside, bitch. And like, you pregnant? Beyond pregnant, like clearly pregnant. Because she closes. Because they close. They kicked everybody out the store for her to go shop. Okay, but you hour. want to fight a pregnant woman? Yeah, like who did that? Where was it at though? I don't even know. Oh, I don't know. I saw it on Baller Alert, but the, who does that? It's too much. Like. She but that has, would make you. De but that would make you delete it. Well, first of all, you're a human being. Mm -hmm. You have 50 million followers. How many followers you got? 28 million. I don't know. Quite okay, a bit. 28 million and 50 million. Same motherfucking thing. <laughs> At you, that point, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like you got that much attention, and you got that many people. Now imagine little old us. You know what I'm saying? Little old us with a couple hundred thousand. You know what I'm saying? Twenty tens, whatever. You feel a way when somebody say something. You got. You got a truffle. Absolutely. A trolls, a truffle, a trolls. Put that on the screen. You, see, you got a truffle, a trolls. Okay. You you gonna respond? I mean, I, I just don't. I don't see how you cannot if you're a human being. 
I have never seen someone respond as much as Cardi, as Cardi B. B. Well, she she's super active. Damn active. Everything. She's super active with her fans. And, and, I, and I feel that. But is that active it's with too your much fans? She's active responding? with her haters. It's she's too, active yeah, with she's, her she's, haters. I would say. Yeah. Well, well what's she, those okay, are haters. Fans. The new love now. Let's, both. let's not get it twisted. Haters no, but, the new love. To be fair, she is. She's active with both. She does repost a lot of of, of her fans that do dance routines or sing songs. Like yeah, so that's what I mean. She wakes up, talk to them. But the negativity is way too much. It's way too much. She shouldn't be responding to that at all. She has to calm. She has. Y'all better leave Cardi B the fuck alone. Okay. All right. That girl is pregnant. You know, she care about what y'all say. And she's, you know, passionately herself. It's her first kid, right? Yeah. I Emotions think. all over the fucking place. What? Emotions. Her body's all over the place. Mm -hmm. And dude, I heard a dude say it. A dude said, come on outside, bitch. Oh, squeeze me? Oh, no, you did. No, I heard a chick. I, I watched. It was a chick. But, but, Didn't y'all hear but that? A, guy, a, a guy was definitely like egging it on I remember hearing a guy be like mm, like I don't know some some punk shit that's crazy <laughs> y'all better get up off of Cardi B uh, she is uh, one of our favorites and in more mama news Kylie mm -hmm. Jenner y'all heard y'all heard about the bodyguard supposed to be the baby daddy man y'all heard them, about them, Kylie them Jenner and Travis got Scott baby that messed up the eyes I'm like ooh the eyes but you gotta remember we gotta compare Kylie and Kylie, Kylie really to her like. old yeah. Kylie face not yeah. the new Kylie face the but even Kylie, old Kylie changed, face though. ain't got slanty eyes like yeah. that yeah. I'm not, no, Kylie's I'm not old saying. face on the screen real quick yeah put the old put the new one the old put the new one next to it <laughs> <laughs> slide it though slide it slide it Kylie don't look how she used to look no, nah, she yeah, does not. Well, first of all, first of all, this is what people are saying. We are not saying this. But if you did put the picture of the man next to the baby, <laughs> mm -hmm. the bodyguard next to the baby, then, you know. Now, in defense to babies, because they do look a lot like everybody. Different in well, the they look different in the yeah, They, the they metamorph. So you got to wait yeah. for them. Mm -hmm. The face fit. I'm sorry, they morph. The <laughs> metamorph. They morph. They morph just, different. Yeah, they're going to change in about five, six months. Yeah. I mean, honestly, yeah. Tra Travis has like, if you look at his eyes, it's kind of. I've never really looked at bit, his face. A little bit. <laughs> Have you ever looked I'll, I'll, I'll look at face. Travis Scott's face? I, was, I haven't looked at it as closely as I did when him and Kylie got together, which yeah. is. I just remember Kylie's old face. Well, the baby is going to be better <laughs> off. I'm just saying, the baby will be better off because of the mixture of <laughs> Yaminari, you know what I'm talking about? And the whole thingy, you know what I'm talking about? Yaminari? I'm just saying, you got a black. Man, I and think the white Travis woman, so it's a, I, I do think that's. I don't think it's the I, I really kid. That's think, and I hope that it is. Anything for headlines, I guess. I, I wish them all the love and yeah. happiness in the world, and I hope that it's their child. But I would not be surprised. <laughs> I, would, I would not be. Surprised. I would not be surprised. Nah, man, that's not the bodyguard kid, man. Kylie ain't like that. Okay, let me ask you one question, Rory. What is do like what what do Who women? Knows? I, I want to. I will. I will. I want to ask this question. <laughs> hey, wait, before you no. start, you remember the movie? What was it? Life with the with the dude. With the oh the yeah, but I saw it this week. <laughs> I'm the baby. I'm the baby. I'm the baby. I'm the baby's daddy. Right. No, man, no I, I, I would be. I would be very interested. To find out how many bodyguards Smash slayed these people, they were protected. these people that I mean, you saw the movie Bodyguard, no pun intended, right? Said, no, listen to what I'm listen to what I'm telling you. They are the closest. They are the closest to these artists. They are with them the majority of the time. They are going through every range of emotion. The person is there. So it gets to this point, hold me, and the hold me becomes. Come with me to the bathroom. You know what I'm talking about? Make me feel good. Let me come inside you. Let me come inside you. Let me plant that seed inside you. Oh, sorry, that was the song. Um, <laughs> Chance the Rapper gave a commencement speech at Dillard University and basically furthered the conversation that Ball Alert started some weeks ago that Beyonce is the greatest entertainer of all time. Michael Jackson. Is the greatest? Did you hear it? Beyonce is it. right up there, but Michael Jackson. Okay, but I, 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 you know, I just want to rehash. That was pretty bold. Joy, though. feel free. Welcome, Joy. By the way, hi, what's Joy. up, guys? Hi, Joy. Hey. She does a drama show on Shade Four Five. She's filling in for her. Hair is laid too. By so, way. um, yeah, you got the yeah. Thank your you shit guys. is Friday, I day, it. baby. It's Monday. For it be the Monday, she is. So, um, it's Friday, y'all. Joy, what do you think? Do you think Beyonce is the greatest entertainer of all time? <laughs> Second. We didn't say dancer. Second. 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 Who's first? Michael. Michael, Michael Jackson. Okay. Yeah. I seen grown yeah, men. Yeah, I seen yeah. grown straight men faint. Yeah, but that was in a world where social media wasn't. Was we're talking about alive. We're talking about alive than definitely Beyonce. That's what I. 
a live Beyonce. A live Chris performance. Chris Brown's up there too now. Yeah, but Chris he's not. Chris Brown's up there. He's not touching okay. Beyonce. I, I say performance wise, he, I can't. Nah, performance we can't do, we wise, can't do that. we can't. I do hate that. to say this, that's some man cool shit. That's some man yeah. shit. That's some man shit. I mean, I, 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 I like Beyonce, obviously. The Coachella performance was arguably one of the best performances in the history of performances. I like the Super Bowl performance. This one, to me, this one was better. The, her, her production is amazing. Yeah, in addition she, to you the can tell she puts she and puts probably a million dollars. It's in a her movie. <laughs> Or more. That, and, and, and I wonder though, are we getting the production and the performance? Like, are we intertwining those things? I'm, I'm putting it in a package. It I like Prince. I, I judge nothing. Goes together. I judge hey. nothing without putting it in a full Prince. package. Yeah. Forget Prince. Prince is a great uh, artist, but he's not the greatest. Per- I mean, I, he wasn't the greatest full package artist in the world to me. Beyonce is the greatest full package artist ever to Same me. Same dance. Mm-hmm. Package. I can't do that. Mike died his whole shit, changed his whole look. You know what I'm saying? There's some sketchy shit going on behind the scenes. Never Never Land. You know what I'm talking about? So I, I just want to say. I said never, never I'm talking land. about, listen to me. Listen <laughs> to me. Think about, think about this. Think about this. Think about this. These motherfuckers be having some serious issues. Facts. Facts. Beyonce, the only one. True. I'm talking this, about full package. I'm talking about we talking about left great level. We ain't talking about all right artists. Yeah. Okay. We talking about supreme extraterrestrial beings. Ain't and many still, that ain't still got no her head on. Still got her head on. Okay. Ain't out here. You know, Michael I mean? was kind of crazy on the other side of the fence. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Michael was packed. Be, be, Beyonce listen, got some shit going on. We seen Solange. Uh, Go off in yeah, that elevator. That was people shit. That's I, like hello, that's people regular shit. Regular people Everybody shit. That's everyday shit. Michael they Jackson got, got they shit. Have shit. Michael, no. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Michael amazing. Jackson was weird. Like Michael Jackson was weird. He was. Hey, man, I'm talking like this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How? You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Don't do me like that. Michael Jackson bleached his whole body. <laughs> Changed his nose 42 I know, times. But we're talking about the performance. We're not no, we're talking about no, Pac. I just no, he, said, he, he I'm judging Pac. Pac-, Pac-, Pac- I mean? Overall, everything. I, I, think, I, think, I, still, I yeah. think Beyonce got some issues. I, I think they just. What did issues? A really good job Ooh, it sounds like some, hey, go on, Beehive. No, she's a normal person. Get her, Beehive. Beehive is going to kill you. So, <laughs> everybody has issues. This is a V sound. Everybody has issues. They're going to house and throw a brick through your goddamn window. Beehive is coming. Everybody in life has issues. They I know that, but Michael Jackson. You said what to Beehive? Hold on, let's get this quote. What you say to be? <laughs> Beehive is on the way. That's, they that's coming okay. for you. No, but you know what? Though? Everybody she, has issues. She, I, I think she's the best package artist. And speaking of, I, um, I think Beyonce, Beyonce might be a little weird. You think she might I be think, a little I weird? I think she's a little weird. I think if we no, she like, does enough yeah, not weird. talking. I think she's, yeah, she doesn't talk but a lot. That's what's weird. That's she's good. But that's the thing. So I think they don't have her talk a lot because she's weird, so people would see it and then. So, but. We all lemonade. Like She's weird though. Lemonade. Okay. okay but that's but, okay. But, that's but what makes her great. You're you're saying lemonade okay. to defend Beyonce. No, I'm saying lemonade. About, and, like Prince is, you know, bleaching his skin. No Prince. I'm I mean, not, uh, on, uh, Michael, 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 Michael Jackson. Michael Prince 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 what the hell? Why well, are you not talking with that uh, blueprint shit you did? You <laughs> first of all, I'm from the south. Hold up, hold up. I'm from the south. I'm from the south. We talking about TIGs and trick that and all that cool. Don't talk to me about no northern shit, bro. See, what, what, what are you talking it's about? Tight. I'm up there, bro. <laughs> Try me like that. Bro, you talking about some southern about, shit? Bro. I'm on focus. Bro. I just said that they Jay Z do a blueprint for my right, bad. Right, shit. right, right. One, two, and three. Right, 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 right. That's good. Nigga, you did say blueprint four though. My nigga, I don't listen to no music like that. Oh, yeah, you fuck, draw bro. them with the blueprint four. Yeah. There's only one blueprint. It's, it's three of them actually. It, 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 it came out with three Okay, what we talking about? No, we were talking about you and Beehive about to tell your and ass up. Uh, speaking of okay. Beyonce, speaking of Beyonce, Tina Knowles comes out and says she put Beyonce and Solange in counseling when they were shorties. Did you hear that? Oh, man. When that's they were crazy. shorties? When they were shorties. She said shorties? I mean, that's cool. When they were youngins. When that's they were cool. Little. Okay. She said that Beyonce couldn't stand her because, you know, she's five years age difference. Mm-hmm. And Solange was always trying to hang out with the friend. Now, being the father of a 17-year-old and a 14 year old I'd mm-hmm. see it. You know what I'm talking about? Kenny want to do something Kyle want to come along It's his little <laughs> bro You know what I'm yeah. saying And all Kenny friends Like Kyle And Kenny like Bro let me have my moment with my, yeah. You know what I'm talking about yeah. But as a Kyle parent cool though, Zell, though But what do y'all think As parent As a, Rari as a parent You know what I'm saying What you think about that Like cause I think kids In counseling Could be very good Because it's things They don't tell their parents So they'll tell A complete counseling. stranger mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I'm talking about mm-hmm. I think that's very I think that's very very A it very good thing dope. Yeah, I've been to counseling A few times One of my best friends Got hit by a car and um, you know, I kind of withdraw myself from a lot of people right. for about three months, and I had to go to counseling about it because yeah. I saw it. 
That's all I had. Yeah. That's all I got hit by a car. We used to run a, run across traffic like fools, but that one time I told him don't go, he went, got hit, flew in the air, hit the windshield. Damn. I saw the whole thing. Yeah. Tried to go to counseling for that. So yeah, but that's good because you need to be able to talk have it to out. to be able to talk it out. Yeah. I, couldn't, I didn't want to talk to my parents. I didn't want to talk to my friends. But yeah. I talked to a stranger about it. You like an unbiased platform. So yeah, counseling is definitely a big a big deal. Yeah, man. And and I, and I think too, like more, more of us should look into that because it, it's a lot of things you try to communicate because of your experience and what you know mm-hmm. and your child all the time doesn't receive it. Like, and a counselor you know uh, will specializes in bringing it out that, you know, a parent, if you didn't study psychology, right. social psychology, you wouldn't yeah. really be able to bring it out. Yeah, and speaking of social, social media, I'm talking about it twists you up anyway. So their their perspective all, is hey, skewed. You might damn need to have that in the class now in school. Just yeah, yeah. yeah. Handle yeah. no for Social real. And, 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 yeah, yeah. Man, that's it's crazy. like you, you think people like that have short attention spans, which most kids do. Kids can that, go on social that media only like, makes oh it worse. God, what the hell? Mm-hmm. Yeah, hundred percent facts. Um, rolling loud. <laughs> I wish I was there. Damn, I wish I was there. Was off the chain this was this weekend? There? No, he was up here. No, nah, I was up here. Um, Meek Mill, King Cones, Migos, Lil Baby, uh, Yachty, the whole QC was in that thing. Opening um, games, but every, everybody did their thing, but my favorite moment was when Dolph mm-hmm. brought mm-hmm. them people out from mm-hmm. Duke University. If, got you, fired. if you're not familiar, they got, yeah. they they got, got fired. fired for playing his music at work. Yeah. The VP came by. Was it school. Censored? The vice president came I'm by. Sure it wasn't. I'm sure it was actually. If, if it, it was, was not, campus. then I can I can. But it was get paid, young <laughs> nigga. Get paid. Get Whatever paid, the case may be, the VP paid. comes by. You know, hears it, starts the thing, gets them fired. Dolph flies them to Rolling Loud, right? Mm-hmm. Brings them on stage and is like, "Yo, I know what happened. I get it. I got twenty thousand. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all spit this into y'all and get a job. Give it up for Young Dog. Yeah. He didn't have to like do that. that. 10,000 You know what I'm talking about? Boy. That's a lot of bread to be like, yeah, you playing my music, you get fired. Like, I love that. And it was a lot of dope performances. Dope. I saw uh, Machine Gun Kelly they were performing in the rain. Like, it was like Rolling Loud looked really, really mm-hmm. good this year. Um, and speaking of uh, women who uh, text 65,000 motherfucking times, Oh my god! Did y'all see that. that? I saw that. It's some women out here to be testing you sixty five thousand times. That? She texted somebody sixty five thousand times, and when it became like offensive and whatever, she's like, you know, basically that's just sometimes what love makes you do. She met this person online, by the way. How do y'all feel? Five thousand times. Sixty five. How do you text somebody sixty five thousand? Is there a time span that that happened? Even have. Is that a time span of the, 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 the 65,000 times? I mean, 65,000. Yeah. First of all, 65,000 in your lifetime is too many texts. You know what I'm talking about? No, legit. Legit. <laughs> legit. Like, so somebody texted 65,000 texts, though? That's 65,000. But something like that, yeah. That's crazy. What happened? I, I, clearly, happened? they met online. She fell in love and. I wonder if they ever met. Did they meet on Instagram? They met. I, they, I didn't get all of that. <laughs> I'm sure. I don't want to say that and not be it was true. But anybody who meets someone and they text you 65,000 times, you need to run. Yeah. You'd be in fear of your life. How and she was getting run? unruly too. Like they were showing some of the text messages, like, you know, I'm going to blend myself inside of your body. I want to wear your skull. She needs, like, what kind of shit is that? Yeah. What? <laughs> she, she needs some help. Um, And lastly, Uh-oh. y'all, before we get into a baller mail with young Rari. Um, Taraji P. Henson is getting married. <laughs> Big shout to Cookie getting Man. married to Cookie. Kelvin Hayden. Yes. Cookie giving up the cookie. I, I just want to say this. I, I, you said, yeah, she done gave up the cookie. Um, I just wanted to say this to Taraji P. Henson. Congratulations, baby. I know you're a long time. You are the home team. You deserve it. You understand? You got your baby out the house. You know what I'm talking about? You got this bag. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got, got renewed. Because I saw the boy. Your boy got renewed. What's the boy to do, Empire? Lee Daniels got renewed. So that means you got renewed. So the bag is uh, <laughs> endless right now. You know what I'm talking about? And your man got a bag, too. So congratulations. Give up one more time for my sister. So or another Miss Taraji P. Henson. We love and appreciate you, girl. Keep going. And now it's time for Baller Mail. Message. Man, man, man. Y'all ready? Yes, sir, man. Keep no. casual sex casual. Oh, Lord. Nothing more. Mm-mm-mm. Casual sex. When it works... 
It is an amazing thing, two consenting indig individuals fulfilling each other's sexual desires without the stress of a commitment or a relationship. Once again, when it works, oft oftentimes before we realize it, we already become well addicted to the healing powers of good sex. <laughs> Being blindsided by the overwhelming pleasures of consistently good sex, we begin to wander outside the boundaries of casual. Maybe it, it y'all get it confused. Ain't no such thing as casual. Hold on. Maybe it's the <laughs> dopamine. Dopamine. <laughs> dopamine. <laughs> Maybe it's the familiarity. Did I say that right? You yeah. said it right. Familiarity mm -hmm. or closeness that skews our judgment. But we cannot forget that we agree what we agreed to initially. The moment we forget, we get drunk off how they make your body feel. It is the pivotal moment. Things get messy. Feelings will get more than likely hurt. Facts. And the good thing is ruined. Since people continue to forget the casual sex is just that, well, it's only right to break down how to keep a casual fling casual. Discuss what casual means and the consistency between you two. Everyone's definition of casual is different. Before you be begin having casual sex with the potential, have a grown-up discussion about what it means. What do you all expect and what it will look like. So funny to me. For example, you all have obviously not have to have sex sessions. <laughs> when you share relationship when, when. goals, <laughs> secrets or personal issues. Instead, occasional convos about what a movie you two are going to watch for your Netflix or chill moment is more appropriate. Furthermore, agree to what is acceptable and not acceptable in the beginning. So there is a point of reference before things go left. Excuse me, my... uh. Oh, good. Dopamine. No, my uh, <laughs> my my Invisalign's are tight today. It's all good. So, is casual sex acceptable or not? Oh. Casual sex. Uh, I think you should sign a permission slip. Wait, paperwork. you said you think <laughs> paperwork involved should be paperwork. Wait, 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 wait. You guidelines. said wait. You said permission somebody and paperwork involved. Permission or guidelines? Permission. All of it. Everything. You don't need permission. You just need guidelines. You need a goddamn lease agreement. Okay. <laughs> let's do a lease agreement <laughs> for. Uh, let's 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 do this for about five to six months. You said you need a I, lease agreement. You put a, a time on it, Rory. I mean, because what if what if what if you want to stop fucking her in two months and she want to fuck you through the whole rest hey, of the contract? You break the lease. Hey, <laughs> nah, break the lease. Hey, nah, hey, nah, the penalty will the be lease. a fifteen minute quick session, and then you're done. You're out. That's, you how, you break, that's how you break lease? it. That's yeah. how you break the lease. A Give a, a one last quickie in a quickie. Yeah. The quickie will be the least ah! break or rate. Uh, I, I just want to say this. Uh, no there's such no thing. such thing as that. There's no sex, such thing as casual involved. sex. You cannot. I don't. And this is the thing. We we talked about it last week because let's let's keep the let's keep the thing on mm -hmm. young uh, Susan Burns' face. <laughs> okay. Last last week <laughs> we said that. Or no, sorry. Susan said that you can actually have sex without having feelings. You can't have casual sex. I think, but I think the first time. Oh, wait, 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 can I got you have you. casual sex long term? Maybe not. No. But you can have casual sex. That's why I said at least three months. You can't have. 30 days. You can have casual sex? A couple of times, <laughs> no yes. <comment. laughs> can you have casual sex? But listen, can you the, have casual sex? Hold on, hold on. The problem is everybody be trying to, like, okay, fellas. Fellas be trying to blow it back out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Go all up in between the guts, go all the way in. <laughs> 20, 30, 45 minute type of sessions and shit like that. And then motherfucker feelings get involved because now you just want to do it all the time. Not, not a guy, especially if she got great box. So nigga is thinking like, oh shit. Great box. I want to hold hands with her in the mall. <laughs> in the mall. Whoa, I want to hold real. hands with her. Okay, let me ask y'all a question. So y'all really think I'm sorry, I say Susan. Two three times. Well, I Susan. That Susan. Involved. Yes. Susan, you yes. really think mm -hmm. You could have casual sex and no feelings on either side of it. It's a time limit for yeah. casual sex, though. Okay. Like, what's a one night stand considered? Is that considered casual sex? Yeah. You can have casual sex, just not for a long period see, of time. See, but here, hear what I say. How, how, said, normal, one night. how normal are, are one night stands? Oh, that's very normal. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious. I, I think they're pretty normal. I'm curious. I think that has nothing to do with me. I'm just saying that's very normal. So women, I, I, women, I go, women go normal. as hard. Oh, it's very, very Women normal. go as hard as men in, in that category now. I'm just asking. Uh, what did Drake I, say I, in I that guess, shit? <laughs> what was the line again? First night, she gonna let me f cause we grown. I hit her, gave her back to the city. She home. She a home now. Bye. Bruh, I'm disturbed. <laughs> I, I am disturbed. No, I am disturbed by that. 
I'm telling you why I'm disturbed by that. I keep saying it every week. Damn near. Women. All you beautiful women. Like, you know what, what though, big dog? All you, I gotta cut you off. All you <laughs> incredibly gifted Hold on, life bro. givers. Don't say it. Wait, you've been married Wait. for a while. It okay. doesn't matter. It does, it does matter. It Times is, you know what? It you know what? You wanna know why? Sexuality has coming out this big old. Everything is sexual now. Like That's before, why you could even you could even have certain scenes on TV before. No, I am super aware. So they throw, so they're 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 throwing it back. The real things are very real. Like how many you know promoters? <laughs> I have a pro, pro, I have a friend, not me. Sex them turn. I have social a friend. Media. Every weekend <laughs> we party. He comes to my party. Every weekend he disappears. Yeah. He, for a good he twenty picks minutes. One of them up oh, from the in the club. Set, from he the goes, birthday set. He disappears for about twenty minutes. You come back. I'm like, bro, where were you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you serious? What a guy. Yeah. All my kids. What a guy. I mean, that's not, that's I not, saw not somebody normal, having sex at a day party one time. Yeah. They 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 were at the bar. It's getting in. What's going just, on? You could tell, like, they were just at the bar, and they say, you know, what they, so so they so. I'm just curious. Did, did people forget about diseases and, and like they got some they shit that just came in from Korea that ain't they fixed? Have it. Not, they have not forgot. They are reckless. Like they actually have like or like a Man, people forget these the big old orgy party. What's okay? it called? Um, it's like sex roulette where sex? It's, oh, it's, hell, yeah, it's a lot of people. In How the do you know about this? Somebody in the because I have conversations with people. You know people that participate? No. It's a sex roulette thing. Oh, you know too. That I know people, people who have went to it. Oh, I'm not, just because I'm we know. know. I'm just letting you know. Like, <laughs> it's, it's out Shut up, Robert. No, they once said they knew. You ain't know. It's sex roulette. Shut your ass. Sex roulette. Said, just because we in the motherfucking gang <laughs> shit. <You know? laughs> Let me tell you what happens. In sex roulette, actually, somebody has an STD. Oh, and hell the whole no. thrill of it is you're having sex with oh, multiple people and you I don't know. No, hold on. Oh, no, you know. I'm not saying that to me. No, I know. I'm saying it to Look up sex roulette. Look it up. It's a real thing. I don't know. Okay, okay. okay. Anybody that is That's down with that shit. should go on and just jump off a bridge it's right now. It's the same as, you know, people just playing like regular Russian roulette. Like, it's I'm stupid. Cool I don't understand shit. why people do what they do, but it's a real thing. Dear Lord, baby Jesus, please help this Save sexually us. frustrated Save generation us, of STD roulette players. <laughs> what not, the fuck? They're not even sexually <laughs> frustrated. They're just stupid. They're stupid. What are What the... Like I'm sorry, I'm not though. finna. Mm-hmm. That's out of pocket. That, that's yeah, I just I really pray. I, I pray for y'all. Like, you know, there is no such thing, thing as casual sex. Is that what you're saying? I don't think there's a such thing as casual sex. It always leads to something else emotional. That's my personal. I think opinion. if you give it enough time, it, it could, it, it, it will. That's why I said no more than three times. No more than three times. After three times, boy. In an agreement. G Easy said third time he gonna wife her. Three times I'm a wife. Mm, I don't know. Okay, all right. Now it's time for comment creeping. <laughs> oh, let me get my life. Creep, 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 creep. Man, from his full time. Creep, 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 creep. I am disturbed. Yeah, this is different. By this generation's creep. sexual habits. And I ain't gonna lie. Casual sex is new. Nah, but I'm just saying, y'all are so vicious when it comes. Generation that's a little younger than me and Sue. They going in. Tell me. No, nah, that's what I'm saying. They vicious. These youngins are vicious. They don't care about Nathaniel. Yeah. Okay, All right, sis. Fab is back on social media. He's, he's been back for a little bit now. Fab was in the club this weekend. We saw the Fab. Mm-hmm. Mr. Rose weekend. He says, have faith and do it. B-I-G. Shout out my brother Wale for inviting me out. And uh, Mike Aramove comments and says, you don't ever wake up and be like, damn, I'm dressing like a 15-year-old. LOL. No disrespect, though. Shady. Right. So Fab mm-hmm. responds, Nah, I wake up and dress how I want or feel like unapologetically. God bless me to be able to wear what I want, same as everyone else. Some just don't realize it. But the real question is, why do you care so much? Does it affect you or your family or your financial state? Or do you feel like I should dress how you want me to dress? But that won't ever happen, so you should find something else to invest your time in. Right. I got something to say about that immediate, immediately. Immediately. Talk to him. At the end of the day, you mad because he fresher than you? Like, I, I say this about yeah, Fast Style. Yeah, I say this about Fast Style. He can dress. Like, yeah. Fab can dress. And if you can dress, you can dress. It ain't right. no age limit on what you putting on. You know what I'm talking about? The Fab thing that bothers so me good. is why everybody, like, People need to understand that people enjoy different things. Like, we have different opinions. We have different ways of communicating. 100%. We dress differently. Like, it's okay. Just shut the fuck up. Yes. But Fab dressed so good, he didn't even have to respond to that. Well, but I, but, I, but I get it, though, too, because it's like it's an offering. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Your presentation, you you proud of that. A guy like Fab, the era he come from, the era we come from, you, you're proud of your presentation. Everything right. you do means something. You know what I'm talking about? So for him to put the time into it, hell yeah, he gonna be on his head a little bit about it. I got, I got one more comment. Talk to us, We baby. have to do. Come we on. have to do oh, this. Oh, we got two today. We have hey. to do this Hell one. yeah. They call me camper. Post a picture of him and uh, Brandy. He says timing and he tags Brandy. Monique Slaughter says, I love you, but... Dot, dot, dot. Brandy responds, we'll sing you and your entire family underneath the table, go practice, and then holla. Brandy wasn't here for the games that day. Again. I wanna be done. Again. People attacking people oh, like the greats. You know, I understand maybe Brandy's not everybody's style. Everybody ain't for everybody. But Brandy's amazing. That's Moesha, man. She, she's accomplished a lot of amazing face. things. Monice. Huh? Monice, what you saying? Girl, you can't sing like that. Like, why Why would you even try to come for Brandy? Oh, so Monice is a girl, the, uh, the, the B2K baby mom. Yeah, I love hip-hop. Love is she gay? Hip-hop. She's gay now? She's, uh, I think she's bisexual. Oh. She? Uh, which is, yeah, okay. which is totally fine. Just switch um, up on them, huh? Okay. Yeah, you know, you just go, go with Change. whatever your heart leads Remixing you to. Them, I understand that, you know, you're working your on your music goes, career, but it fine. bothers me. It bothers me that we have to attack other people in our communities. Yeah, it's, Just to get some clout Like yeah. what's, what was the point of but that But I don't think social media is real Like certain things It's just not real It's not real But unfortunately people are getting real success off of it Okay you know but I mean? real success is right But at the same time You have to have real control Of sure. yourself sure. Because at the end of the day Social media should be used to promote your businesses Right now mm-hmm. The Ball Alert Show Later on 945 mm-hmm. Saturday Get mm-hmm. brunch Like it's nothing more Than what you want People to take from it But that also lends People to be Creative with their Being right Be something they're not Portray an image yeah. That they you know Take other people's pictures And I mean I just saw My guy uh, Promote I guess he was at the Somebody at the club in New York said He was him Just to get in free And wow. again End up giving them by. But my point is like That's all they got why Why are we even worried about it? Like, to, to your point about responding, yeah. Cardi B. No, but why even worry about it? I always say, if you give all that negativity energy, it ain't going to do nothing but grow. So keep coming if, back. You know what I'm talking about? So acknowledging it is the first no-no. You don't want to, you know, like I always say, hey, this is new Probably, love. Yeah. People who hate on you are showing you affection. Mm-hmm. Affection is also known as a form of love. So my point is like, all right, you paying that much attention? I must be in my bag. Yep. I must be, you know what I'm There's talking about? There's something about me that's upsetting you about your damn self. Yeah. Like, it has nothing to do with who you're hating on. 100%. Nothing to do with People that. People always ask me, why are you so positive? Why are you always so happy? Why are you always... Da, 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 da. You, share, you, you share what you know with everybody because at the end of the day, I know the alternative. Mm-hmm. And that's to be mm-hmm. negative. That's to be aware of the bullshit. That's to accept the bullshit. If you were to really sit back... And big shout out to Killer Mike. He was on uh, Bill Maher this weekend. And Killer Mike was... I love that boy. He get high. He's unapologetic. Him and his wife being a thing. Like, they just... My point is, he does him. And he does him unapologetically. And he gets paid for doing him. And I tell people all the time, y'all worrying about the wrong things. Y'all worrying about other people and what they doing and how they getting it and how they living. But yet... You know what I'm talking about? You are creating a false image of yourself if you're worried about everybody else. That means everything they saying and doing is affecting your mm-hmm. growth. How are you going to be whole? How do you have time? Like, how? Like, Yeah. Yeah, it's, 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 and that's a gift and a curse. That's a gift and a curse about social media. And we, we have to use social media to our advantage. We got to use it for our businesses. We got to use it for, you know, other creating other opportunities. What you say? What? What? <laughs> Oh All shit! Right. She said hair, nails, <laughs> rent, water, right, car, gas. Oh shit, gas right, be killing bro, me. I need a gas like, by a goddamn gas time station. For all, this time. all right, we're spending about two hundred a week it's on a gas. Lot of shit. Where you be yeah, driving? Be driving. I'm be moving around though. He hosts seventeen clubs. <laughs> you in, you in the city day. though? Oh, I live, He's I live everywhere. Done with He's it. Everywhere. Oh, that's and why he got, he got three babies. Got three babies. Kids. I'm moving them around. Daycare, school. He going to uh, He going to like, pick up his, his oldest like, now. I, have, oh, I don't got time to be you, commercial with nobody on his social failing. media. I promise you, if you ignore I'm some of it, or oh, I'm sorry, if you ignore all of it, it won't affect you. How about that? For sure. Boom. You know what I'm talking about? <clears throat> and now it's time for Confucius said. Uh. Confucius said. Joy, oh, you she a cold. She, she's a joy. fast one. She Ooh, caught that joy. quick. 
Uh, I got chewed out last time, so I was right. Yeah, because you know I hit your face. <laughs> I'm a Scorpio. Um, I want to pick off where my dear sister Susan Burns left off. And I, I posted this morning. I said, never let anyone talk you out of your dreams. Mm-hmm. And I just want to emphasize that because I think a lot of times, man, we be having these outside opinions that really, you know, get us off course. You know what I'm talking about? Really put us in a a mental, you know what I'm saying, exercise we don't need to be going through because your dreams are your dreams. Your dreams. You know what I'm talking about? They're not nobody else's dreams and everybody ain't going to get it. God bless my grandma. She about turned 92 years old. She told me after I got in my trouble in high school, she said, baby, UPS or FedEx is what you need to be thinking about because in 30 years, you can have a pension and have some retirement and have a nice life. But see, that's what she was taught. She was taught just to get in line and get take what you can get. My dreams was bigger than that. Right. You know what I'm saying? My dreams was bigger than that. So if I and that's the matriarch of my family. But guess what? I considered it, but I made it a part of my process in what I was not gonna do. Mm-hmm. I was not gonna work for nobody telling me when and what and how. I was not gonna be in nobody, you know, pigeon hell space. You know what I'm talking about? I wasn't gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? So never let anyone talk you out of your dreams. They are your dreams. They are there for you to manifest. And if you continue to listen to outside voices, talking heads, you'll never get what you came for. So go forth, Baller Nation, and stick to the plan. The dream is real. It's the Baller Alert Show, baby. Touch yourself. Baller Alert.